Richmond Motorcycle Club are facing serious charges after a violent attack on the doorman of a small Brown County bar. In a story you will only see on Local 12 News, a vicious attack was all caught on surveillance camera. We have obtained a copy of that video. Rich Jaffe joins us now from the newsroom with this disturbing story. Rich? Brad, police and prosecutors believe this attack was totally premeditated. It took place April 17th in an Aberdeen bar with the unusual name of Jethro's Tiki Club. A few of the bikers had attempted to enter the bar early in the evening and had been told they couldn't come in wearing the Iron Horseman ID or colors. They came back right before closing, and here's an exclusive look at what happened. It started with John McIntosh delivering a vicious slap to the face of the doorman, H. Cohen Baker. He grabs Baker, drags him to the floor as other Iron Horsemen join in, beating and kicking him. Another Iron Horseman, Robert Bowling, can be seen swinging a chain and striking people with it. The attack goes on and on, all of it caught clearly on video. Over the last few weeks, all five of the Iron Horsemen have been indicted on significant felonies, everything from aggravated rioting and assault to participating in a criminal gang. Authorities say they want to send the bikers a serious message because they are concerned that they may have been testing the community for possible expansion of the gang. From the experts that I've talked to that, that handle this gang violence exclusively, mm -hmm. Uh, that's what they say. They may come out and they may, they may test the waters and see if they're able to come in and assert their control over these territories. And if you let it go, if you let it go unchecked, it's just going to grow because that's what they want to do. They want to establish control of these sorts of places. Now, all of these guys are looking at serious prison time if convicted, but one in particular, the guy with the chain, is in really deep water. That's because Robert Stephen Bowling has a serious criminal history which goes all the way back to 1979, and he's being charged as a repeat violent offender, which could add years to his prison sentence. We'll have much more on this coming up at 6. Brad, right, Paul? Rich, we will look forward to that. The Iron Horsemen have been no strangers to the violence in the past, as Rich has said. Local 12 News has been reporting on them for many years. Some of these stories actually being used to assist the Brown County in prosecution. We will have more on that with Rich coming up at 6 o'clock.